Ladies and gentlemen, according to the New York Post and Newsweek, William Barr stated the following, quote, Donald Trump does not have the ability for strategic thinking and linear thinking or setting priorities or how to get things done in the system, Barr continued. He would deliver chaos and, if anything, lead to a backlash that will set his policies much further back than they otherwise would be. We had record low poverty under Trump in 2019, record low poverty, 2% inflation, record highs in household median income, the Doha agreement that brought Americans home, Biden completely botched that, Abraham Accords, huge achievement in the Mideast, first president to step foot in North Korea, signed prison reform legislation, first step act, First president to step, oh no, sorry, um, moved the embassy to Jerusalem, um, prayed at the Kotel in Jerusalem also, had my bar mitzvah there. Um, There are photos of that with Trump. And so he did all of these wonderful things. He did all of these wonderful things as president. We had record low poverty. Real wages were up under Trump. He renegotiated trade deals. He imposed tariffs on the most populous country in the world when they were uh, infringing on uh, uh, intellectual property, engaging in unfair trade practices. He did all of these things. We didn't have an invasion with Trump, and he was never a a Kremlin operative. Okay, so... What, what was the problem? I, I don't know what William Barr is thinking. What, what was the problem with Trump? Aside from the apoplectic, frenzied media reaction and false allegations that spurred never-ending, constant, nonstop uh, distrust and suspicion of Trump. Okay? Yeah, his tweets were mean. I, if I, if, if I could tell former President Trump not to tweet what he did uh, against NFL athletes or LeBron James, I would. I don't think he should have done that. But we had record low poverty. Now we have poverty increasing, real wages down. We're 90 seconds to midnight, according to the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists. But Biden doesn't tweet uh, offensive things. Okay, so are you happy now, America? Are you happy? And... Trump wanted to open up the economy immediately. The Washington Post, New York Times, MSNBC, CNN, pretty much every publication, every expert, every bureaucrat said, no, 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 you can't open up. De- a Democratic governors tanked their state economies, called, caused toilet paper runs. Um, Andrew Cuomo tweeted out something far worse than Trump ever said regarding, uh, oh, you know, There's no need to worry. And so that's Trump's fault. He made Democratic governors tank their state economies. Now we have bank runs. $10 trillion pumped into the economy. That wasn't Trump's policy. What was he supposed to do when Democratic governors shut down economic activity? Just not give stimulus checks? What was he? Was he supposed to veto stimulus checks so people like even more homeless people Go on the streets because of Democratic par- uh, Party policies? That was a Democratic Party policy to shut down economic activity. It wasn't Trump's policy. That was a choice. There were countries that didn't do that. Inflation is 6 to 8%. It's not 5%. So you're a fool if you believe inflation is at 5%. Food inflation is 8 to 10%. Okay? Rent... Uh, the mortgages, uh, everything's gone up because interest rates went up. Interest rates went up, ma- making everything more expensive in terms of loans and mortgages and car payments and a whole bunch of things. L- lending money is more expensive. <laughs> so then you, you they, they want, because the economy is in such turmoil, we are growing only because we've allowed people to work and we have shortages, labor shortages, we have shortages in in products, food products, 
And they raised interest rates because they pumped $10 trillion into the economy because they shut down economic activity. And how is that Trump's fault? So, and at the end of the day, Trump has essentially, according to Newsweek, promised indictments for those who went after him. Trump hits back at former uh, ally Bill Barr in criticism. Okay, the reason that William Barr criticized Trump is because Trump doesn't play by a very corrupt system. Billy, Bernie, <laughs> Billy, Bernie Sanders was cheated. Okay, and after he was cheated, he had no, he didn't have even like the slightest amount of integrity to just accept or acknowledge to his supporters, Bernie Sanders, that he was cheated. He's never even acknowledged why Debbie Wasserman Schultz was forced to resign. Trump is the antithesis of Bernie Sanders. I was the biggest Bernie Sanders booster on the internet, according to the Huffington Post. And the unofficial scribe of Sanders was most hardcore voters, according to the Washington Post. Why do you think that Bernie... You, like, you look at Trump, and he's going to go after the people that went after him. He's not just going to sit there and be accused of things he didn't do, be indicted in New York just p for a purely political uh, like stunt based on a purely political motive. Okay, the the federal government didn't even indict him, yet the yet Democrats in New York are using a federal crime to elevate misdemeanors against Trump. So you have a situation where Donald Trump he's not just gonna sit down and rest and allow a very corrupt system to just try to railroad him the way Bernie Sanders did. Bernie Sanders was in a primary in twenty sixteen. They cheated him, Bernie Sanders, and he the $200 million from his supporters went to Clinton and the DNC to purchase a steel dossier that caused the FEC to fine Clinton and the DNC. That's how corrupt the Democratic Party is. And then, I mean, like, they say that Trump is so corrupt, and it's like, for casual observers, media has won. The Democratic Party has won. They did their job. They have pumped so much nonsense and baseless allegations against Trump, a lot of people who are just, you know, they're on the fence, and they'll just believe anything now. And you know what? There are people who just want the yelling and screeching and screaming to end from media. They'll deal with a terrible economy and a terrible foreign policy. We're 90 seconds to midnight, according to the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists, meaning that we're closer than ever to nuclear confrontation and, God forbid, annihilation. And all people can think of is Trump's personality. What is it that Biden has done that's good for this country? I want to know. What on earth did this man do for, for any Democrat to vote for him again? So he caused the inflation and then reduced it a little? So it's like, it's like totaling a car and saying, okay, well, I, f I went to the auto body shop and fixed it. What did, the, what did he do? There wasn't an invasion in Europe before Biden took o uh, office. We weren't 90 seconds to midnight. Okay, China wasn't as close as they were to as they are now to invading Taiwan. What is good about Biden's administration? I don't know. Other than people like William Barr, never Trumpers, and media are happy, placated. They're um, you know, they're ha they're, they're they're content that tr that Trump isn't uh, running things because Trump is against endless wars. That's why it's a moral imperative to vote for Trump. These people who, there are people who think, and, and you want to read my writing in The Hill, The Huffington Post, along The Jerusalem Post, The Federalist, go to hagoodman.com and other publications. Patreon link is below. Super thanks is below. If, there are people who think, ladies and gentlemen, that there are people who think that uh, it's immoral to vote for Trump. But look at the world now. Is the world safer with Biden? No. So I don't understand this like nonsense from William Barr. Is the world safer? No. Is the economy better? We have bank runs. We have toilet paper runs because of democratic policies. I mean, it, this is complete nonsense. You don't even have to just... The, here's the thing. If you just look at what Trump did as president, he was a good president. He was a very good president. 
if Biden was just as good, I actually would say, even though I can't stand Democrats, if Biden was just as good as Trump, I would admit that. I'd say, well, you know what? I'll probably vote for Biden because I want a great economy. Record low poverty. But we have that with Trump. Poverty is increasing now. Anyway, give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. I'll be back.